Little Richard would have been 88 years old today. The famous singer and a founding father of rock and roll died earlier this year in his Nashville home. Today, the Little Richard House Resource Center put on an event to honor the legend. Art Taylor Hicks was there and spent the day talking with some people who have a special connection to Richard. The celebration of the Tutti Frutti legend started in Pleasant Hill, but did not end here. People in Macon came together to celebrate what would have been Little Richard's 88th birthday, and I spoke with them about why it's so important to keep his legacy around in Macon. <laughs> you know what's a shame with being from Macon. That is just one of the reasons why Loretto Bob, Greer Cujo Bob, loves Bob, Little Bob, Richard Bob, so Bob, much. Every time I went any place, um, in all my many travels, people always ask, well, you from Little Richard's hometown, and I'm very proud of that. Cujo is one of the many fans that came out to celebrate the life of Macon native and music icon, Little Richard. How can you uh, be from Macon and not be inspired by our Little Richard? Words from George Fidel Muhammad as he speaks about coming from the same neighborhood as Little Richard. Muhammad is president of the Friends of the Little Richard House. He helped plan the legend's 88th birthday celebration. We're celebrating with music. Uh, we're going to be doing some tours. Uh, we developed a, a, a walking tour and a bike tour. People were able to get one-on-one -on -one tours of his home and the neighborhood he grew up in. Stanley Stewart is Little Richard's cousin. Stewart says it means a lot to him to have so many people come together on his first birthday since Little Richard passed away. You know, his music uh, brought people together. Uh, Richard was a bridge. And Stewart says this is just the start of keeping his cousin's legacy alive. And a lot of times nowadays we see a lot of divisions which seem to take place in our society and that's just not what Richard was about. He brought people together all around the world and we want to make sure that uh, that air of positivity, if you will, uh, continues to shine here for Macon, Georgia. Stewart says that little Richard always made sure to highlight Macon and he wants to make sure that Macon continues to highlight him. Representatives with the Little Richard House Community Center say that they will continue to keep Little Richard's legacy alive by hosting events like this for Bibb County. In Macon, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. I know Little Richard is smiling down on Macon, Georgia right now. To find out more about how you can help keep Little Richard's legacy alive, head on over to our website. That's at 13WMAZ.com.